Welcome to the second video of data structures. We'll be talking about abstract data types here. This video has been made as a part of the Stanford CRUD course initiative. Abstract data types, or ADTs, were briefly discussed in the introductory video. Let's look at some more examples to understand the concepts clearly. ADTs try to simulate real-life mathematical models and are independent of the implementations. Some of the ADTs are queues, stacks, graphs, and trees. Queues. Many a times, queues are used to ensure fairness. This is suitable when all of the people have equal importance and everybody takes limited and almost equal time. Imagine you've gone to watch a movie. How do you purchase your tickets? You stand in a queue. There are a few properties of queue. First, you go and stand at the end of the line. Whoever arrived first would be getting the ticket first. Ticket vendor only interacts with the person at the front, and once the front guard takes his ticket, he goes away and the queue proceeds. Now let's look what would happen if you were standing in a queue ADT. You would go in and queue yourself. That is, you would be added to the end of the line. The ticket vendor would interact on a first come first serve basis. He would talk to the top person, hand him over the ticket, and then the person would be popped out of the queue. That is, leave the place. Now let's look at another example of stacks. So you finally got the ticket and now you're heading towards the theater. Now let's analyze closely what steps you take. Task 1. You take the lift to reach the hall. 2. The movie begins. 3. In the interval you decide to have some food. So you see that you just keep on pushing the tasks one over the other. And now, you would end the tasks on last come first serve basis, just like a stack. Firstly, you would end the task you started at the last. So you, you would end eating up the popcorns. Everyone is super hungry and everything gets eaten up. Next, the movie ends. And finally, you take the lift back home and end with your stack. So. Did you see how it was different than the tasks in the queue? Over here, whatever task you started first ended at the last, that is, last in first out principle. How would you have proceed, proceeded this if you were a CPU? You pick a task and push it on the top of your to-do list. But then, when another task comes in, you start doing the new task. At any instance, you look at the top. As soon as the topmost task gets completed, you pop that out of the queue and start processing the task below it. Thank you.